Okay, we've just been through the logical thinking process, six-day training. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess one of the points mm -hmm. I always have at this stage is trying to work out how to explain it to people, how to promote it uh, to other people who don't know about it, because we've all, we're all excited and convinced, and so were the other mm -hmm. participants at this session. But it's, it's damn hard to try and get people to come to something that's called logical thinking or deals with logical thinking without them mm -hmm. feeling insulted about how logical they already are and stuff. Yeah. What are your views on uh, getting more people excited and, and practicing logical thinking? Well, I suppose we could actually go to total deception and call the course something other than logical thinking. Uh, that might get some people interested, yeah. but I think they could be seriously disappointed when they got here. Mm. So. Or rebranding. Rebranding, yeah. There focus you go. problem finding and solving. Mm. Or mm -hmm. Finding problems uh, and solving them. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people might yeah. say. A lot of people might say, "I don't need to find problems. They find me." <laughs> so, I think you need in, in which case, I would say, then we have exactly the thing for you. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's not. It, it's not always that obvious, though. Finding no. the right problem to solve. Yeah. Or, or you're not solving problems. You're overcoming symptoms, but mm -hmm. you don't know what's causing them. So you're just sticking. Yeah, it's true. Plasters are they? We we were we were talking early on. Uh, about the example that uh, on the television that I that I see the, the American series House mm -hmm. with Hugh Laurie, where every every episode is very similar, in that in comes a poorly person with certain symptoms and they've no idea what the disease is. And during the program, they try things, but they're using the logical thinking process without mm -hmm. the label. Now professionals need it, but. You're right, it's a problem. We all understand logic and think we can use it. Mm -hmm. But it's like being given a toolkit and not being taught how to use it. Right. Now, I've got saws and hammers and drills at home. It doesn't make me a craftsman. Good uh, point. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, and, and I, the first, my first exposure to it, your, the first time I went through your course, yeah, I found it very depressing because, you know, I'm an engineer, I, I, I'm a, a boss, uh, <laughs> and I, I thought I, I, I worked logically. You know, I thought I, my brain made logical <laughs> decisions and as you guys found out I'm probably the least logical person there is I mean <laughs> you two are, are ten times more logical than me <laughs> and uh, it's, it's, it was just a very painful experience to realize how illogical I was and how much I needed to be more logical and mm -hmm. you know so a lot of the people out there I'm, I'm guessing uh, don't realize uh, how illogical they are mm. could very well be now I when I was uh, first getting involved in in the thinking process I uh, actually was also partially involved in a uh, psychology uh, tool known as the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, mm -hmm. which basically uh, classifies people into one of 16 personality types, <clears throat> of which there are two main tendencies, and one is that of an intuitive thinker, and the other is that of a sensing judger. Without getting into the details, the sensing judgers are the ones who really are, depend on the evidence of their senses, the evidence that's in front of them. Uh, they are great at making logical step-by-step -step connections. The intuitive thinkers, on the other hand, are normally used to thinking in terms of uh, broad concepts, uh, ultimate effects that may skip several intervening layers. In other words, big picture people as opposed to structured cause and effect. Mm. And the fact is that about 30% of the people in any given audience will be these big picture intuitive thinkers and 70% will be the ones like the engineers who look at the evidence of their own senses and go to step-by-step -step analysis and so forth. The thing that's nice about the thinking process is it can be used equally effectively by both types you can be a big picture person and your logic trees will reflect that and they will be trees that you can be comfortable with but by the same token if you're somebody who is a real detail person and wants every pedagogical detail in the whole process the uh, thinking process can give you that as well. 
-hmm. So it, not at the same time, of course, but it can, it can be more than one thing to more than one person. Mm -hmm. So maybe we put the word advanced in front of it. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's lots of people can drive, but advanced driving is seen as something different. Yeah, that's true. That is absolutely true. But it is covering the good practices of driving mm -hmm. that maybe everybody should know, isn't it? That, that's I true. I think that's great. I'd like to issue an open invitation to anybody who thinks that they could benefit by being able to organize their lives and maybe the challenges that they uh, experience and uh, in a way that allows them to have their cake and eat it mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. and, so yeah. and for me, an anybody who's come up against, as Bill said, in their private lives or their working lives, the question, right, there's a challenge, what should I do about it and how should I go about mm -hmm. uh, succeeding at that? That's what this program is about, mm -hmm. taking us through a, a repeatable methodology that will get better and better each time. That's true. For taking ourselves and our wider businesses through that, mm -hmm. uh, through that cycle. And the best part of it is it's designed to start with an ill-defined problem and deliver at the end a fully implemented workable mm -hmm. solution. Yeah. And it does it fantastically. It does in a short period of time. Okay. Yeah. So consider okay. it. How's that? Right. Excellent. Excellent.